Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Sure. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a histogram from a number pi array using Python. A histogram is a graphical representation of the distribution of numerical data. It is an effective way to visualize the frequency of data points in different ranges. Hashtag 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 prerequisites. Make sure you have the following libraries installed. NumberPy. Matplotlib, for plotting the histogram. You can install them using pip if you haven't already. Hashtag 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 step by step guide. One import libraries. First, we need to import the necessary libraries. To create a number pi array, we will generate a number pi array that represents some random data. For this example, let's create an array of 1000 random numbers drawn from a normal distribution. 3. Create a histogram. We can use matplotlib to create a histogram of the data. The plt.hist function is used to create the histogram. Hashtag 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 complete code example. Here's the complete code for creating a histogram from a number pi array. Hashtag 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 explanation of parameters. Bins, this parameter determines how many bins, or intervals, you want to divide your data into. More bins lead to a more detailed histogram, while fewer bins provide a more generalized view. Color, this parameter sets the color of the bars. Alpha, this parameter controls the transparency of the bars. A value of 0 is fully transparent, while 1 is fully opaque. Edge color, this parameter sets the color of the edges of the bars. Hashtag 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 conclusion. You've now learned how to create a histogram from a number pi array using matplotlib. Histograms are a powerful tool for visualizing the distribution of data and can help identify patterns or anomalies in data sets. You can customize the appearance of the histogram further by exploring additional parameters in the plt.hist function. Happy coding!